Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. And I just wanted to do a short class to remind us of the obligations we have when it comes to these feast days and how we are forbidden from appearing on these feast days empty-handed. In other words, these feast days like Tabernacles, Unleavened Bread, and Pentecost are times in which we are supposed to take our tithes and our offerings into the storehouse. So let's look in Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 15. It says, Seven days thou shalt keep a solemn feast unto the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord shall choose, because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thine increase and in all the works of thine house. Therefore thou shalt surely rejoice. Now this is what these feast days are about, guys. It's about rejoicing for the provisions that our Father has been blessing us with all year long. I mean, to be honest, that's why a lot of us do this. It's why we're on this walk. It's for the blessings of Jacob, which include food, clothing, uh, something to drink, something to wear, um, and even protections and, and stuff like that. Well, we rejoice in the Feast of Tabernacles, you know, with these tree branches and such as we show how good our father has been towards us is what it's saying there. Then it says in verse 16, three times in a year shall all thy males appear before the Lord thy God in a place which he shall choose in the feast of unleavened bread and in the feast of weeks and in the feast of tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord empty. And this is the part we want to bring out here is because during these feast days, we have to bring an offering. You know, back in the day, they would have made the trek into Jerusalem for the feast day. Well, part of their trek, they would have been bringing their um, offerings and the 10 percent of the blessings or the produce that they have received since the last offering, which would have been back there in Pentecost. And so this is the time when they would have brought all of this material, all of these animals or whatever it was that they were producing. I know in today's time, it, it's um, mostly money, but whatever it is that people produced, they would have brought this into Jerusalem to give it over to the priests and the Levites for them to do the temple service, for them to have something to work with when it comes to um, um, doing the services of our Father in heaven, hallowed be his name. Um, let's read verse 17. It says, Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he has given thee. Now, guys, I believe this is being overlooked, this offering and its necessity here. What we're learning here is that this has to be a major part of our feast day is to give these tithes and these offerings. And it is part of my own personal testimony that it conditions us to receive these blessings. We learned in the, the great book of true life or the third testament that giving afflicts our souls. It, it humbles us in a way. And we also learn that anything we want from our father requires humiliation. We have to humble ourselves in order to get blessings, in other words. Well, when it comes to these feast days, one of the things we're doing in order to condition ourselves to receive these many blessings that he's offering is to be sure to pay our tithes and our offerings to give um, what we owe to do our part in this ministry work. We have the obligation to pay back some of what our father is giving us and my point is, is that this is the time to do it during these tabernacling seasons, just like the Feast of Unleavened Bread and just like Pentecost. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. If you got anything out of it, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button, but leave me a comment either way and shalom.